Out here at the 911 showing on Mount Sicker. What we're doing is checking out this 10 meter stretch from where these drill hole sticks are sticking out. And I've hammered samples across this entire area. So we're gonna take a look at all the samples that I've hammered across this 10 meter width right here. So the first sample comes from right here. Stringers of chalcopyrite and minor pyrite here in your schistose rock. And you have cross-cutting quartz veins, which have chalcopyrite. So this sample from here comes from right here. Moving over another meter, meter and a half, we have samples taken out of right here, along here. See the quartz, pyrite, calcopyrite. See the sulfides all throughout this area here. Moving over again, see massive sulfides in this area here. And here's a few samples we dug out. Massive pyrite, all that dark colored mineral in there is actually calcopyrite with oxidation. A little bit of boronite in these. And that continues all the way over here where we've taken another sample. Just similar. These samples are near massive sulfides. Mineralization in here. Another sample. This was from here. This was from here. And these were from here and over here. You see the higher concentration of calcopyrite in your silicified schists. Some boronite in these too. We've got more broken out of here. You can see quartz, calcopyrite, and boronite. There's roughly 50% calcopyrite in these samples here.
moving over again. Another sample taken out of here. And you got, again, your silicified schistose rock. Moving over to this area here. Mix of pyrite, calcopyrite, some boronite. Moving over. And we're about a meter away from our last samples. Again, you can see calcopyrite, pyrite, minor boronite, a lot more quartz in these samples. And we got these samples here. So in this area, we've done XRFs and a lot of these samples were above 5% copper up to an exceeding 15% copper in this area. And as you can see, this is all massive sulfides in there and now we'll move down to the main area here and this is where we've been removing a bunch of material we call this our 10 ton trench we're now at about 15 tons of material dug out of this that we've hand eyeballed to a grade of about 20 percent calcopyrite or greater you can see all the waste here and this is just kind of an easy area to work. So we've been working this part of the vein here, which is a silicified schistose rock with quartz, calcopyrite, pyrite, and boronite. And these are some of the samples I just pulled out of here about half an hour ago. See the little bits of boronite in there. This is pretty much all calcopyrite.
Again, this is massive calcopyrite with minor pyrite and some bornite. And we got our last sample here. So, as you can see, lots and lots of sulfides. Lots and lots of quartz and mineralized schists. And this is the area here we sampled from here, going all the way over in width to where my hammers are was our first sample. So a significant width, and that's just one portion of the lower 911 showing. We got showings all along here and veins as well as we have the upper zone up there, which is similar mineralization, but you have a black or dark colored sulfide and everything heads down the hill there. And this is where we're gonna be doing our trenching down below there, up in this ditch and across the whole top for about 400 meters in strike and 100 to 120 meters in width. So that's part of the lower 911 showing. Hope you enjoyed some samples. We'll see you in the next video.